What's up everyone? It's January 1st, 2022, and I'm back in the Bay Area relaxing after spending some time in Southern California. And during my stay, I went on a little bit of a shopping spree on Rodeo Drive and branched out with respect to my sneaker collection. And one of the things I bought is something I want to share here with you today because this is probably one of my favorite pair of sneakers that I've purchased in a long time. And it's something that I've been interested in for a while. I've seen photos, but for the first time on my trip, I got a chance to see these in hand and try them on. And I absolutely love them. And they are a Miri Skeletal High Top Sneakers. Now, these shoes are actually special, and I'll explain why, but let's get these open first, because I'd rather be able to show you them while I talk about them versus talk about them first. First thing is, these are not a cheap pair of shoes. The ones that I bought were $690, and with that, you get premium everything. So, the box, very nice. The packaging, very nice. Extra set of laces, receipt. Shoe bag, dust bag, very nice dust bag. But the most important thing here is the shoe. Have a look at that. This shoe is absolutely beautiful. It is called the Skeletal High Top, and it basically is a Jordan 1 knockoff with respect to the silhouette, but it's got its own twist where there's this very premium feel and there's these leather panels that basically look like a skeleton's foot. Now, the cool thing about this shoe is unlike Jordan's where you can pretty much only get whatever colorway gets released and it's a struggle to be able to do that. With this shoe, there's a lot of different options and you can basically pick your favorite style. Now, I first tried these on at a store called the Webster, and all they had was one colorway, and it was blue and white. And I'll show some photos of that because this got very interesting from a design perspective. Now, the issue, when I tried on the blue and white one, I really liked it, and I was tempted to buy the shoe, but before I purchased it, I actually asked, are there any other colorways and they pointed me to their website and they said they could get anything on the website. And one of the things they had was this colorway, which is very new. Uh, I believe it's current season. And it's basically a bandana print, which is not something they've ever done before. When I first saw the image, the thumbnail image, I didn't really like it. But as I had some time to reflect on it, I basically went shopping in the meantime and I thought about it. And the issue with the shoe that I had tried on is that the color blocking ruined the skeleton foot silhouette. So there was blue on this panel back here, blue on this panel here, blue on the toe box area here, and all you could really see were these two bones right here when you were far away. And I basically decided if I buy this shoe and it's my first version of this shoe, I want something where the skeleton foot is very, very obvious from distance because that's kind of the point of the shoe. So I decided I wanted something where the color blocking didn't interfere with the skeleton foot. There were a couple of options. I think one of the ones that I really did like was all black with a white foot. But when I saw the bandana print and I saw it up close, I came around to really loving the uniqueness of this shoe. 
and unfortunately at the Webster, they were missing my size. They had everything around my size. I needed a size 45. They had a 44, they had a 46, but they didn't have what I needed. Fortunately, there is an Amiri store on Rodeo Drive, and the very next morning I went there, and sure enough, they had this shoe in a 45, and in hand for the first time, being able to see the bandana print, the attention to detail is absolutely fantastic. This shoe is amazing, both from a quality perspective as well as a design perspective. The fit and finish and construction are excellent. The uniqueness is off the charts. It happens to also match my car, which is a nice plus as well. I love everything about this shoe. So, you know, I think it was $40 more than the standard shoe. The standard shoe was $650. I've honestly seen resellers ask as much as $1,000 for other pairs before. In fact, I had no idea what retail was on these until I saw them in hand in store. So I actually thought this was a $1,000 shoe. Turns out it's a $650 shoe. The bandana print brings it up to $690. But the other thing I discovered is they actually do seem to sell out and they don't necessarily restock. From watching a video, this designer, it seems like he made his, um, I guess, foundation in denim. But one of the things that I heard him say is he likes to control distribution and not just make a bunch of everything. He likes to make it sort of hard to find uh, because the search is part of the process. I can very much relate to that. I don't necessarily like the fact that it's manufactured that way, but it worked because ultimately I figured I got to jump on this shoe in a size 45 while it's still available for me to get. I'm very glad I did. I'm going to cut up to a lot of close-ups of this in this video so that you can see the attention to detail, but probably my favorite shoe, certainly my favorite shoe of 2022. 2022 just started. Really, I bought this in 2021, but it's in the running for favorite shoe of 2021 as well. I highly recommend this. If you like it, don't hesitate. They do run true to size. I'm an 11 and a half or a 45 European. This is a 45 European. It fits perfectly. And I think that's it. Happy New Year, everyone. Cheers to 2022. I hope it's better than 2021. Kind of hard not to be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one.